All right, this is my review of the Dell Inspiron 5680 gaming desktop. So this is a little video that is on their website. And we're going to look at this little video and we're going to talk about something that uh, you notice in this video. I'm going to stop it right here. Now this is the interior of the desktop. You notice it's all painted black and everything. It looks real nice. It has looks like uh, some kind of uh, heat pipe cooler on it. CPU. Um, got a case fan in the front there and nice uh, graphics card. Looks like it has a case around it or something. So that's just a video that they have there. So that's what you're seeing when you're ordering it so here's the website now i did get the base one the lowest price one that uh they have and so when you're ordering it of course it came with the i3 8100 uh you can get them in the i5 and go up from there to the i7 uh i started with the i3 um i'm not a heavy gamer uh just play a couple games so didn't want to blow too much money so here's the options you get uh, windows 10 home or pro for 60 dollars more you get the uh, 460 watt air cooled polar blue led lighting and no optical drive so this is what i ordered included in the price then for 650 dollars more you can get the clear side window is what you saw right here in this video and the dvd player memory is eight gigabyte uh, no options for upgrading it there one terabyte hard drive no options now you can uh, get the option to go up from the gtx 1050 to the gtx 1060 for 150 dollars more i went with the uh, gtx 1050 the gtx 1060 is a lot better than the gtx 1050 but i'm not a heavy gamer if you're just a light gamer it needs uh, something that's a little bit more affordable the gtx 1050 will do if you're a heavy gamer and you have a lot of game titles and you like to play a lot of game for many hours then go with the gtx 1060 and at least get the i5 or the i7 the i3 one that i got with the gtx 1050 is not a bad gaming desktop but it's not for the heavy gamer i play that one little game uh, american truck sim it can play it on the high settings it plays it nice the graphics look good it plays it smooth with about 60 frames a second uh, i can record uh, the gameplay and it still works fairly good but this is just you know for mild gaming nothing overboard so it didn't come with a, uh, an optical drive it did come with wireless keyboard and mouse and all that so I'm scrolling when I'm ordering the thing on the website. Uh, you notice the pictures. There's the picture again. Uh, this is the optional uh, clear panel side. And there it shows the picture with the uh, side off again. You notice how it's all black and it looks like it has real neat coolers to it and everything. So this is not what I received. So I just want to point out that the website is a little bit misleading. And there is nothing painted black. There is no... Uh, heat pipe cooling system or anything like that it's all air cooled just your regular tin nothing painted nothing coated nothing like that it's not painted black there's nothing covering the GPU it's just a PC board with a cooler on it and a fan so it looks nothing like the pictures in here and if we scroll back to this video you'll notice that uh, it shows a front case fan there is no front case fan there's only the rear case fan the gpu cooler fan a cpu cooler fan and then the fan inside the power supply and the power supply fan on the system that i received when i put it under load either recording or playing the game that's when that fan kicks on and i notice when that fan kicks on it is a little bit loud and it sounds like the fan is almost touching something it has like a clicking sound to it so that's the only problem that I'm having with it other than that when the computer is at idle it sounds real nice it's quiet the fans are just running uh, you never really hear the case fan or the CPU fan or the GPU fan 
when it's under a load. The only fan that I hear that makes a lot of noise is the power supply fan. So on all the options, I got the what is included in the price. I got the GTX 1050 and, you know, just selected everything there. So I scroll down here. And I'm thinking, well, do I need a cable for this? What do I need to plug it in on this card? So here it says ports and slots for the standard. And that's what I ordered. Then it says ports and slots with optical disk drive. So I didn't get the disk drive because the disk drive is included if you order the clear side panel, it says up here. So if I uh, select, selected this one, uh, it gets the clear side window and the DVD drive you see there for $50 more. So I, I didn't select that. So I'm looking at the specs on the standard. So I'm looking here and I'm thinking, okay, do I need a, uh, will it work with my DVID cable? And I'm looking at 9 and 10 here. It says HDMI port, additional ports on number 10, display port. So, okay, no DVID. So I went ahead and ordered another HDMI to DVI-D cable so I could hook up to my monitor, which I didn't need because this information is wrong. If you scroll down here in the ports and slots for the optical drive, um, then it comes down here and it says um, HDMI, additional display ports, and DVI out. So DVI out. So the one with the optical drive is saying that it has DVI out, but the standard one, which is the one that I ordered, saying no DVI out, but the computer that I received has the DVI out port. So I didn't need to buy that cable. So that information is wrong. And then the pictures are a little bit misleading because it's, nothing is inside is painted black. It just looks like your standard everyday desktop computer. Nothing's coded, nothing's painted. It's got one case fan in the back. It's got a CPU fan that's air cooled with a aluminum heat sink cooler on it. It has the GPU uh, aluminum cooler with a little fan on it. And the GPU has no case, no plastic, no shroud, anything on it. It's just a PC board. The power supply is just a square power supply, your standard square, with a fan inside that is, on mine, extremely loud when it gets going. And, and nothing is painted black. It's just your standard tin-looking metal. No front case fan or anything like that. So... A little bit misleading here on the pictures. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty nice desktop. It has a good sturdy feel to it. It feels nice. Um, it plays the game for what uh, I was going to use it for. It plays it nice. And uh, it works real good. It, you know, just sitting here, it's really quiet. Uh, fans are just running. And, you, and if you don't like the uh blue led lights uh there is a little software in there where you can turn them on and off or if you are running a different operating system you just still go into the bios and look under light bar and you can just select enable or disable and you can turn it off from there so i have went into the bios and turned that off uh didn't really care for the lights to be going all the time but if you're a heavy gamer, don't get the i3 one with the GTX 1050. Get at least the i5 with the GTX 1060. Uh, this is, um, you know, just probably for mild gaming uh, here and there. Nothing heavy for the i3 one. This i3 is uh, a eighth generation at 3.6 gigahertz. And it. Uh, I looked at the information on it. From an i5 uh, fourth generation, it's up there with it, if not a, just a little bit better than a uh, fourth generation i5. So it's it's pretty good uh, CPU. But again, if you're doing heavy gaming, um, this thing is just not. Uh, I, I you know when I'm I'm play the American Truck and and I do a little bit of videos here and there, and it seems like this thing is you know it it's keeping up its pace. You know it's going, but. Um, that's just for a little bit, you know, 
I'm not, you know, sitting hours on it, playing a game and recording. I'm just doing it a little bit. Uh, so I don't know if it could handle hours of that. Uh, you would probably, and you know, you would probably want to have something a little bit stronger than this one uh, if you're really heavy into games. Uh, you know, I just wanted something to run a little bit smoother, and this one's doing the job. The GTX 1050 is doing the job. 60 frames a second on high settings on that game, and while recording, it's smooth, it looks good. Uh, but again, if you're a heavy gamer, don't go with this one go at least you're going to have to spend the 150 dollars more to get the gtx 1050 i mean 1060 the gtx 1060 it's worth the 150 dollars more if you're a heavy gamer and at least get the i5 processor because it, the i5 is a six core this is only a four core the i5 is a six core and it has the uh turbo boost this processor doesn't have the turbo boost so if you're a light gamer and you want to save a little bit, maybe catch this one on sale like I did, this would be the one to go for. It's a not a bad uh, gaming desktop, but it just don't uh, think that it's going to look like this on these pictures. And uh, this information here is wrong. If you're getting the standard one without the clear panel, you can use a DVI D. Uh, cable so other than that a uh, little issues that I'm having with the power supply being extremely loud when it's under a load um, I mean it's not extremely loud but the fan when it gets to racing it you know it has some kind of uh, clicking sound to it like something uh, is rubbing on it but other than that the computer just sitting here it's it feels good and you know it's solid and it uh, works great and it's really quiet uh, I, I don't really hear the other fans uh, when I put under a load, them raising up or anything, uh, other than that, uh, one fan is just uh, seems a little loud. So, uh, not a bad uh, desktop gaming desktop for this base model if you're just a light gamer. But if you're a heavy gamer, I would go with the GTX uh, 1060 with the at least the i5. This one with the i3 and the GTX 1050 is really just for light gaming and that's all I'm doing with it but it doesn't look anything like this in the picture as far as the interior and if you notice that cooler there that they show it looks like some kind of let me stop that right there it looks like some kind of uh, air cooled like this is some kind of heat pipes it's got a heat pipe and then it's got a fan blowing on it there and the computer I received it just has an aluminum cooler you know your standard little aluminum block with a fan on top so and nothing painted so that's really misleading there other than that looks great from the outside nice satin finish it all feels real good feels sturdy not bad at all all works good so I guess I'm going to wrap this up here this was my review of the Dell Inspiron 5680 gaming desktop and um, my review of their website and how to purchase it it was a little bit misleading there they could uh, do a better job at that so I guess I'm going to wrap this up here alright I'm out